Hey guys, it's your girl Eva Diamond and I'm back again with another video. If you want to see how I achieve curly hair like this, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with freshly washed hair. This is what my hair is looking like after a deep conditioner mask. I did sleep with it overnight. I do not recommend. The products I'll be using today is a twisting butter from Camille Rose, wet line extreme gel. I'll be using water, of course, and a detangling brush. First thing that I'll be doing is split my hair into two sections. I'll put the first half in a scrunchie and then we'll start working on the back. So with the first half in the back, I'll be sectioning it off so that way I can make three twists and that'll be the start of my twist time. So I do like to make sure that my hair is very wet before going in with any product. So I'm going to make sure that this section is very wet. I'll start detangling. I do start from the ends to the roots to avoid any breakage whatsoever. Next, I'm going to be taking my Camille Rose Twisting Butter and applying that to the entire section. I'll work that through just to make sure that I definitely have moisture in my hair. Next, I'll be taking the Wet Line Extreme Gel and I'll be putting it in my hair. I'm used to using Eco Styler. But this was a heavier gel and I feel like my roots did need a thicker gel that really weighed my hair down. So I'm going to be putting that into each section. I usually put it in each section instead of like that whole big section. So this back piece gets split into three twists in total and I put gel in each one like individually. So then I'm going to just start by twisting. I do twist like backwards, like I twist to the back of my head. And then I just make sure I twist all the way down. One tip that I do have when twisting your hair is to never borrow from one side. It causes frizz when it's time to take the twist down. So at the end of the twist, I always finger coil it just to ensure that it's curly and not straight. So I'm going to just repeat this whole process throughout my whole head. I'll let you guys watch how I did the first twist two times just so you can get a hang of it. So this is what the twists are looking like when I'm done twisting the entire head. As you can see, the roots are not super tight, but I'm going to tell y'all a trick to fix that. So what I do is I coil the twist backwards and this ensures that the roots get tighter. And then I do that to every last one, making sure I hold it and then get the next one, I hold them all. And then I take a scrunchie and I put the scrunchie on like a ponytail basically. And that ensures like, you know, flat roots and making sure that they're tight and eliminates frizz at the top. Cause I don't like frizz like that. I really don't. So I'm gonna do that for each side and the whole head. So 
So after I make sure that my roots are good to go, I like to go in with a growth oil. This is an oil that I got from the hair store. I usually use a hair oil by SMJ Collections, but I haven't got a restock yet. So this is what we're working with. Any oil will work. It doesn't have to be a hair growth oil, but I do like oil in my scalp just so I can get maximum growth and avoid a dry scalp. I make sure to get the nape of my neck and of course my edges because I be wanting my edges to grow. And you know, especially if you wear wigs and frontals and stuff, sometimes they can pull your edges out. So make sure you're getting your edges. And I just smooth that in. So once my scalp is oiled, I like to put this cap on and this just helps not get my bonnet like super dirty, especially since my hair is wet because like that product will get in that bonnet and it just irks the crap out of me. So I put this on and then I'm going to put my bonnet on and that's pretty much it. Sometimes I do air dry, um, but I was going to bed after this video. So I just, you know, pretty much went to bed and then morning time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the caps off and I'm going to start the process of taking my hair down. I take the scrunchies out first. That's like the very first thing I do. So next I'll be taking some oil. It doesn't matter what oil, but it just helps eliminate frizz. And I just put it on all the twists. And I do make sure I have oil on my hands as I unravel the twist. So I twist the twist towards me, like forward, just like I did backwards to make sure the roots were tight. I do it forward instead. So it untwists some and then I take each piece and I really let them separate however they want to eliminate frizz. And honestly speaking, my hair was not 100% dry. So I was trying to manipulate my hair as less as possible. But my hair is more dry, it is more defined, but it still gave. And in between, I will add oil on my hands just to make sure I'm not causing any frizz and friction. Especially since my hair is not 100% dry, it helps with that. So just make sure to keep your hands oiled just to eliminate that frizz. And keep moisture in your hair. And it gives a good shine, so just make sure your hands are oiled when you're taking your twist out. So this is what my hair is looking like when all the twists are freshly taken out. I'm going to make my hair bigger by shaking my hair. I do this every time because my hair just be not given on the first day. It don't be as big as I want it to be. And then I do need to invest in a pick because I just end up using my fingers to like fluff out those roots and really make it big, give it some volume. But if you have a pick, I do suggest just picking at the roots. I did eventually go in and cut that little curl that's like an oddball, but I pretty much just keep on picking at my roots with my fingers just to like really give it that maximum volume on the first day, especially since my hair was still wet. I would have went in with a blow dryer, but I feel like that would have caused a little bit of frizz. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is go in with the spraying oil. I just spray this all over my head just to eliminate like looking dry. I don't like when my hair looks dry and my hair tends to look dry all the time. So I just do that and then that's pretty much it. You'll get some curly, curly, curly curls, girl. But stay tuned for the next videos that I have coming up. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah.
I'll see you in the next bit. Bye. Stuck inside a crib on my own. Soon as I pick up, I'm about to pop up on your phone. Like I'm outside in an AMG, right outside PT.